Well, there's something you don't see every day. Tram doctor with gloves on. Oh boy. Now why would I do that? Well, we're going to play with this uh, no-name amp today. Um, I think some people will, um, said it's a foot warmer. I think some other people gave me some other names. I think all valid. But um, this one's got no name. Three tubes in it. I think they're 30 KD6s. Or anyway, they're a 30 ver volt version of the 6LF6 tubes. Um, a lot of things I like about this amp. I mean, a few things I don't. One is that, as you can see, the tubes are soldered directly to the um, parasitic suppressors. I don't think I like that. Um, on the front, let's go back here. You got a normal on off power switch, operate standby switch. It's got a um, pretty decent for an amplifier receive preamp in it that works. AM SSB is strictly just a delay. And it's got a power uh, switch, one, two, three, four, which is basically. Uh, low kind of you know a medium low medium high and then high power out and then there's uh just a normal tune and load on your pi circuit so you got a meter even though it's got a you know a cv meter in there with swr and percent modulation you know what's what's that doing on an amplifier uh this one when i got it it didn't um come with a case and it didn't work and it had big old ugly uh, big giant can caps in it. I didn't keep one, did I? Yeah, here goes one. This might not have even been out of it, but um, it had big old ugly can caps, you know, look like that in it. And, you know, as you can see here, under the bottom all dried up and um, puking a guts. When a cap, you know, does that, it's very bad. Uh, it may take out the transformer. But, if you notice in this guy it does not have a single transformer in it none for the filament nothing for the high voltage nothing for the low voltage um, we kinda reverse engineered it working on making a, a reverse engineer schematic on it but basically it uses a voltage quadrupler that's those series of caps there, them four uh, can caps that I put in, modern snap-in caps. Whereas before it had the um, old raggedy 50-year-old um, can caps, soldering that were no good. So we replaced those. So it uses four of the um, caps for the quadrupler and you see I think it's um, four diodes if you can see in there and the one diodes to the side and that's a quadrupler configuration and it also for the filament the reason it uses 30 KD6 tubes three of them got to give you 90 volts you know uh, um, of tube filament plus if you see these two big resistors here one there and the um, other one there those are dropping resistors so they drop another 20 volts um, from the line that goes to your um, tube filaments so the tubes eat up 90 volts and those two other resistors are drop uh, 20 volts and that would be your uh, 110 off the straight off the um, the AC line coming in for the filaments and what they do with that 20 volts is they drop it a little more and regulate it they got a zener diode and a cup cap over there and they regulate it on um, that 20 down to your regular uh, 12 14 volts 13 volts to run the uh, low voltage like the key in circuit and the uh, preamp and you know it got a meter light so um, it takes the 20 drops it down a little more like I say with the regulator circuit to run the um, low voltage on this amp 
and it also got a, a resistor in the high voltage and it drops some of it and it runs the uh, negative bias voltage because these tubes are tetro they're not grounded grid I call tetros turbocharged with that extra grid in there and when you put that extra turbo grid in there you need something to, to calm it down a little bit and you need um, negative bias so it's got a quite a bit of negative bias on those tubes that are dropped from that um, quadrupler through that cap there and also I just mentioned the uh, turbocharger the um, screen grid in tetro mode it just uh, taps it kinda in the center of that uh, quadrupler high voltage to get the screen grid voltage um, basically um, a quadrupler quadruples the peak AC line voltage and I think everybody knows that your AC line voltage is 110 AC going in but um, to get peak AC you would multiply that by 1.4 which would give you I don't know uh, used to be good at math but I say approximately 150 155 once you um, use the peak and then you multiply that by 4 so you have about 650 or so uh, 150 times 4, 153 just 600 but it's actually running about 650 on the plate so my math is a little off so again you're taking a line voltage peak which is about 160 something like that and then since this is a quadrupler it multiplies that 160 peak voltage coming in by four and you know it's filtered too with these uh, built big filter caps for it um, quadruplers normally don't um, hold a lot of current so that's why it needs the big caps to keep that current level up you know when you use a tra uh, quadrupler um, even though it's transformerless so you basically have uh, almost unlimited um, plate current you know in this design with these uh, big caps and taking it off the line the only thing bad about it is uh, it's dangerous there's no isolation if something goes wrong you know at all I mean sure you got your fuse but you know something shorts or uh, somebody get the neutral line backwards or, or something crazy like that uh, oh boy cancel Christmas and that's why I got gloves on cuz um, I'm not gonna mess with this um, transformer list without them makes me feel safer and uh, usually with tube amps and big amps I run a ground wire I got everything grounded really good here uh, so I got a ground wire going to it and everything's grounded here too so anyway I think that's all I wanted to go through with this one um, the big relay is the um, RF in and out switching relay and the little relay is uh, underneath it is the um, preamp relay all those little circuits there are basic um, key in circuit, uh, preamp circuit, basic uh, Pi circuit out. The fan also runs directly off of the 110 coming in. You know, just hooks, you know, past the fuse on off switch and right to the 110 line coming in. And then over here again is mostly just your um, power supply, quadrupler, and your. Um, screen which takes it off and then the screen is tapped for that one two three four high medium low is um, tapped there going through some dropping diodes and a few resistors to drop the screen down or up for the different levels and your bias over here so anyway I guess that's enough talking so oh by the way we got this going through our Variac and Variax don't give, uh, 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 let's say, 100% isolation over there. Um, so we got it going through an ISO tap too, that does give uh, isolation. So we got all that going on, and then to a um, power strip with a circuit breaker on it. So we're trying to be safe, you know, with all this stuff on. So anyway. We turning the amp on here, but we're gonna turn the circuit breaker over here. And the amp's running. Also, this came with a bad tube. 
and since those 330 volt tubes are in series um, none of them were lighted up because uh, one of them had a bad filament on it um, so it took out all the tubes and maybe that's why uh, the person got rid of it interesting amp so anyway um, we got it on low one 200 watt scale let's put it on average a uh, little mud duck 4 watt radio there going into it and hopefully it's still tuned up so on average we're dead keying about 10 12 watts audio 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 talking about 40 listening about 85 that's real good swing and remember this is the low low side audio audio and it's swinging about 140 or so uh audio peak audio audio 135 so from 10 watts to 135 peak this is a swinging machine at least on low we're gonna put it on two we still on peak and now we are I might have hit three I don't know um, we're up to 200 watts audio audio peak audio audio from about a 30 watt dead key and oh we're on peak still so let's go to average and 2000 wide scale we did paint about 60 audio 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 talking about a hundred average audio audio and about 250 peak and then last we were on the high side and we did 10 about 80 yeah and on the top scale we are on peak wise audio talking a little over 300 peak and again this is the high side on peak and we're gonna put the high side on average audio audio big difference between peak and average isn't it whistling about two but we're only talking about uh one and a quarter audio audio might hit 150 um again on average on the high side but this is made to swing with the turbo uh tetro mode like i said audio 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 so anyway hello 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 swing meter swing <laughs> some people don't like swing but i do anyway that's going to be it for this um no name foot warmer uh 32 330 kd6 transformerless amp doing what it's supposed to do all right that's it for this one bye I can take off the gloves and not buy it.